It was just very apparent that he was terrified and distrustful of humans. He was a hisser. I know. He would spit and jump. And if you got your hands on him, he would bite you and scratch you. After about a month, I was starting to become a little less optimistic. He hadn't really changed much. But once our kids started coming up to our room and trying to talk to him through the door, Come here. just the presence of other voices, other things, made him a little more curious. Yeah. Little by little, he didn't love us yet, but didn't hate us anymore. Your brother hears you. He's <laughs> We ended up adopting his brother, Dr. Schofhausen. Oh my God. There. Do you want to say hi to your brother? And show him how nice it is to be loved? The first time we reintroduced them, Rupert hissed at Shofi, and Shofi hissed right back. Within 15 minutes, they were buddies. Being able to see Shofi with us and seeing that Shofi was safe and that Shofi was happy, I really do think that helped Rupert come out of his shell. I noticed that he wasn't hissing as much. And he loved being pet on his face. I think Rupert was ready for adoption before I was. I knew that he needed a home that was without kids and somebody that didn't have a lot of other pets. But I did want him to have a friend. I talked to my brother and his girlfriend. I was like, you have to come get him today. He's ready. And I just, I need you to come get him before I get even more attached. Bye. I miss you. The combination of their personalities plus their home plus Mochi being a little best friend waiting for Rupert. I knew it was going to be a perfect fit.